In computer science, a high-level programming language is a programming language with strong abstraction from the details of the computer. In comparison to low-level programming languages, it may use natural language elements, be easier to use, or may automate significant areas of computing systems, making the process of developing a program simpler and more understandable relative to a lower-level language. The amount of abstraction provided defines how high-level a programming language is. In the 1960s, high-level programming languages using a compiler were commonly called autocodes. Examples of autocodes are COBOL and FORTRAN. The first high-level programming language designed for computers was PlanCorker one quarter l created by Konrad Zuse. However, it was not implemented in his time, and his original contributions were largely isolated from other developments, although it influenced Heinz Rutishaus's language supraplan. The first really widespread high-level language was Fortran, a machine-independent development of IBM's earlier autocode systems. Algol, defined in 1958 and 1960, by committees of European and American computer scientists, introduced recursion as well as nested functions under lexical scope. It was also the first language with a clear distinction between value and name parameters in their corresponding semantics. Algol also introduced several structured programming concepts, such as the while do and if then else constructs and its syntax was the first to be described by a formal method, called BNF, for Bacchus now a form. During roughly the same period COBOL introduced records and Lisp introduced a fully general lambda abstraction in a programming language for the first time. Examples of popular high-level programming languages today may include Java, Python, Visual Basic, Delphi, Perl, PHP, ECMA Script, Ruby and many others. Features High-level language refers to the higher level of abstraction from machine language. Rather than dealing with registers, memory addresses and call stacks, high-level languages deal with variables, arrays, objects, complex arithmetic or Boolean expressions, subroutines and functions, loops, threads, locks, and other abstract computer science concepts, with a focus on usability over optimal program efficiency. Unlike low-level assembly languages, high-level languages have few, if any, language elements that translate directly into a machine's native opcodes. Other features, such as string handling routines, object-oriented language features, and file input-output, may also be present. Abstraction penalty, while high-level languages are intended to make complex programming simpler, low-level languages often produce more efficient code. Abstraction penalty is the border that prevents high-level programming techniques from being applied in situations where computational resources are limited. High-level programming exhibits features like more generic data structures, runtime interpretation, and intermediate code files, which often result in slower execution speed, higher memory consumption, and larger binary program size. For this reason, Code which needs to run particularly quickly and efficiently may require the use of a lower level language, even if a higher level language would make the coding easier. In many cases, critical portions of a program mostly in a high level language can be hand coded in assembly language, leading to a much faster or more efficient optimized program. However, with the growing complexity of modern microprocessor architectures, well-designed compilers for high-level languages frequently produce code comparable in efficiency to what most low-level programmers can produce by hand, and the higher abstraction may allow for more powerful techniques providing better overall results than their low-level counterparts in particular settings. High-level languages are designed independent of structure of a specific computer. This facilitates executing a program written in such a language on different computers. Relative meaning the terms high-level and low-level are inherently relative. Some decades ago, the C language, and similar languages, were most often considered high-level, as it supported concepts such as expression evaluation, parameterized recursive functions, and data types and structures, while assembly language was considered low-level. Today, many programmers might refer to C as low-level, as it lacks a large runtime system, basically supports only scalar operations, and provides direct memory addressing. 
it, therefore, readily blends with assembly language and the machine level of CPUs and microcontrollers. Assembly language may itself be regarded as a higher level representation of machine code, as it supports concepts such as constants and expressions, sometimes even variables, procedures, and data structures. Machine code, in its turn, is inherently at a slightly higher level than the microcode or microoperations used internally in many processes. Execution models There are three general models of execution for modern high level languages. Interpreted, interpreted languages are read and then executed directly, with no compilation stage. A program called an interpreter reads each program statement following the program flow, decides what to do, and does it. A hybrid of an interpreter and a compiler will compile the statement into machine code and execute that. The machine code is then discarded, to be interpreted anew if the line is executed again. Interpreters are commonly the simplest implementations, compared to the other two variants listed here. Compilator Compiled languages are transformed into an executable form before running. There are two types of compilation machine code generation. Some compilers compile source code directly into machine code. This is the original mode of compilation, and languages that are directly and completely transformed to machine native code in this way may be called truly compiled languages. See Assembly Language. Intermediate representation. Sir, when a language is compiled to an intermediate representation, that representation can be optimized or saved for later execution without the need to reread the source file. When the intermediate representation is saved, it is often represented as byte code. The intermediate representation must then be interpreted or further compiled to execute it. Virtual machines that execute byte code directly or transform it further into machine code have blurred the once clear distinction between intermediate representations and truly compiled languages. Translated or transcompiled a language may be translated into a lower level programming language for which native code compilers are already widely available. The C programming language is a common target for such translators. See Chicken Scheme and the Eiffel as examples. Specifically, the generated C and C code can be seen in the IGINS directory of any compiled Eiffel project. In Eiffel, the translated process is referred to as transcompiling or transcompiled and the Eiffel compiler is a transcompiler. Note that languages are not strictly interpreted languages or compiled languages. Rather, language implementations use interpretation or compilation. For example, Algol 60 and Fortran have both been interpreted. Similarly, Java shows the difficulty of trying to apply these labels to languages, rather than to implementations. Java is compiled to bytecode and the bytecode is subsequently executed by either interpretation or compilation. Moreover, compilation, transcompiling, and interpretation are not strictly limited just a description of the compiler artifact. The Eiffel programming language uses both forms of compilation in a single development system. While finalized Eiffel code is transcompiled to binary, Code in development exists partially as either fully compiled machine code or as intermediate byte code, being interpreted by an Eiffel runtime. Thus, for purposes of efficient development, the majority of an Eiffel project is compiled to binary, with small code changes melted out of the binary into IL byte code in an Eiffel runtime virtual machine. As development moves along, the programmer will periodically freeze the small melted portions of code back into the workbench binary. See also Abstraction, generational list of programming languages, low-level programming languages, very high-level programming languages, categorical list of programming languages. References External links, HTTP, C2ComWiki High-level language the WikiWiki Web's article on high-level programming languages.